What's up, Leah? <laughs> Round two. How's it going? We can make good. How are you? <laughs> it's good to see you. Sorry. Same, same. It's I been know. too long. <laughs> too long. So let's just tell everyone you are an OR and a travel nurse. Yes, that is correct. And both of those travel nurse. Uh, yeah, <laughs> some people don't know what OR is. It's yes. operating room nurse. It is operating room. And then within that, um, we have sometimes you can specialize in things. So I typically do orthopedics, neuro neurosurgery, spine and trauma. Okay. That's a lot. Yes. But we'll get there. I want to <laughs> yes. tell everyone how long you've been a nurse and then why you chose nursing. Sure. Um, I've been a nurse actually in July of next year. So I guess we're half way through. Um, it'll be 10 years, so nine and a half years. Okay. Um, of being a nurse, I started as a floor nurse, which holla to all the floor nurses out there. Cause I only lasted a year. Um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I went to the operating room. So, uh, I've been in the OR for about, uh, eight and a half years now. Um, and then I've been traveling for about six and a half years. Um, so, and I became a nurse. This is no joke. I, uh, my dad was a doctor. And when I was little, he used to take me on rounds with him. And when there was an emergency, uh, I, he would have me go sit with the nurses at the nurses station and they would Aww. give me, <laughs> they yes. would give me candy and play games with me. And that's what I thought nurses did forever. <laughs> <laughs> for the that's longest so time. I was like, oh, they just eat candy all the time, which oh, I mean, uh, let's be real. I mean, we all have our stashes somewhere, but oh, um, <laughs> I love candy. Like, oh, yeah. what's your, <laughs> yeah. I like like Sour Patch, Nerds on a Rope. Like, the, I'm not oh, a chocolate I, person. Oh, I'm a total chocolate person. Like, if I know the manager has chocolate, like some of the managers will have chocolate bowls next, I'll just walk by just to make some excuse to go into their office like hey uh so so and so did this yesterday and it was really great and i'm like you know opening up my third chocolate <laughs> oh like, my just, gosh. Thought, just thought you should know okay i'm gonna that go back so to work. <laughs> but i love that's how you got into nursing by yeah. Sitting with the nurses. So yeah definitely so Tell me That's about, um, for those of you who are tuning in, I love to have nurses like Leah <laughs> on who have very unique jobs within the nursing field because there are so many different opportunities for nurses. So what was the training like to become an OR nurse? I know it could be pretty sure. long. It is. It's very long. And it really depends on where you're at. Um, some hospitals will train a nurse to um, not only circulate, but also scrub. Um, okay. So those are typically a little bit longer. It can take anywhere from um, six to nine now, months. Define scrub. What is scrub? Oh, so um, a scrub will actually um, you learn how to scrub in with the surgeons. So okay. um, you know, in the in the movies where the surgeons like scalpel, and then the person hands in the scalpel. That's the scrub. Um, okay. And there's scrub techs that go to school just to be a scrub. Um, but as a nurse, you can scrub and circulate the room. You're the unsterile person in the room, but you can also scrub in with a surgeon and help. Um, Allie works in yeah. the OR too. What's up, Allie? That's hey, so cool. Allie. <laughs> so, so you got trained as an OR nurse at a hospital, in yes. then, which we'll get to travel nursing in a little bit. And then you got yes. to travel nursing. Yeah, yeah. So every... Uh, I, w I don't want to say every hospital. Most hospitals have what's called a Periop 101 program. Okay. So um, it's where they take a bunch of new nurses and um, they are all on the same track um, of learning everything OR because there's okay. just so much to learn, right? Um, and it's because it's unique. It's not like um, it's not like a floor nurse. It's completely different. Um, so they have their own program. And then at the end, um, you'll take an exam. Um, usually you have two, two chances to pass it. You'll pass it. Um, most places you, where I took it, um, we got to work together to take the test or, um, I know some other places, uh, they'll let you do open book, things like that. Okay. But, oh, I but, love open book tests. Open I, book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but really, they've spent all this money training you. So they're going to make sure that you pass. Yeah. <laughs> really. Oh, for, it's so expensive. Yeah. It's such a long time. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 That's crazy. What is the, what do OR nurses do? So you have the sure. circulator and then you have like the screws. Yeah. But what's so, the, like, uh, as, yeah, what's the shift look like? Yeah. So as far as the circulating part goes, which is what um, most places, I mean, you're a hundred percent will be a circulating nurse. Only some places will you be a scrub nurse. Okay. So a uh, circulating nurse, um, our main purpose, I mean, there's like, it's, we do a thousand things, but our main purpose is to know, um, surgeon preference, um, what the surgeon's going to need for that procedure, know where things are, um, and no hospital policies. So we want to okay. make sure that all of the consents are done, all of the paperwork's in order, things like that. And then the more technical things, um, you know, we make sure that the surgeon is, um, going to do the, accurate surgery on the right. <laughs> appropriate right. side. Right. So right. we right. want to make sure that they've marked the correct side that before we start surgery, we're like, okay, we're going to do a timeout. This is what we're going to do. Does everybody agree? Um, you know, uh, because I've been in some instances where, um, you know, the surgeons, they just uh, want to keep going, keep going, you know, like uh, turn and burn is what we say. And um, sometimes they, can get a, a little bit lost or not lost, but the, they'll forget, you know, they're in such a hurry. So it's yeah. our job to kind of slow them down and say, Hey, listen, you put the tourniquet on the wrong leg. Um, I have, which is, that's awesome that you've been able to catch Yeah. Them. Yeah. So that's, um, that's mainly our, our job. We also advocate for the patients, you know, there's, um, you know, patients are, are very vulnerable there. You know, they're, we are their voice. Um, right. they're intubated. Yeah. They can't speak for themselves. Um, so, you know, there have been times where I've had to say, you know, I think you need to stop or, you know, um, that, uh, instrument's no longer sterile. Let's get you another one. And yeah. sometimes they don't want to wait for that, but I'm going to make them wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's um, doing the right thing. It is. Patient. Yeah. Exactly. Like exactly. Said, being an advocate when the patients are very vulnerable. Exactly. Yeah, yes. Um, so it might not be, you know, handing out meds. We don't do a lot of medications. We'll do um, like a local anesthetic. Um, we'll put up heparin, things like that. Um, but we don't use a ton of medications that, you know, you're not going to give someone, you know, their pain medication like you do on the floor. Um you know, that's all anesthesia. Um, they're, they're making sure. What that, is, but... um, what's, what is your favorite part as an OR nurse? Oh my gosh. Um, okay. So this, okay. So when <laughs> this is going to sound corny, but so I like to be by the bedside when the patient's going to sleep and it's something about, um, you know, they're, they're scared, you know, they're scared. Yeah. Um, and I'll, hold somebody's hand. And when they squeeze back, it's kind of like, okay, you know, they're putting their trust in me. <laughs> yeah. And so I think that's one of my favorite parts is knowing that someone, these people, they do, they trust you. They don't know you, but they trust you. Yeah. And so um, I think that's one of my favorite parts. Um, also, we have a lot of fun in the OR, you know, like we do, we'll play music. Um, there's so many different music. <laughs> we <did. laughs> oh yeah, we'll get uh, you know the uh, my personal favorite is '90s hip hop. Um, <laughs> I think everybody needs to go to Pandora and put on that uh, hip hop barbecue. That's my favorite station. If the surgeon says that they don't care what's yeah. what music I put on, I put that on, and then they're like, "Okay, I care." But so <laughs> until then, <laughs> that's what I put on. Um, so we have fun. We have fun yeah. most of the time, and we like to say that a good day in the OR is a boring day in the right. OR, you know, it means nothing's going wrong. Um, everything's going as planned. And so right. if it, it, I try to make it as boring as possible, but in like a fun way, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah. No, I think it's someone Jennifer asked about positioning, positioning is yes. a huge part of the job. It is a huge part of our job. Um, you know, again, I always like it when a surgeon can come in and help. Um, it's always very helpful because, uh, you know, they're the ones that need to have access um, to a patient if it's in a different, if they need to be positioned in a certain way. But before they, um, you know, get all draped out, it's really important to make sure that 
the skin is um, well padded, that they're not going to get any pressure ulcers during right. this long surgery. That Some they're surgeries are really long. Exactly. Long, long surgeries. And that their um, body parts are in, you know, anatomical position. You know, you don't want the arm way over the head for 10 hours, you know, you're gonna have some nerve damage, things like that. And so that's also a very, very important part of our of our job. But it's also everybody's, I, I feel like it's everybody as a team, it's our yeah. job to say, before we start putting on the drapes to kind of look and be like, okay, this looks good, you know, yeah, where every, right. this yeah. person is safe, um, their skin is safe, uh, things like that. So I love that. Someone, uh, <laughs> Teresa asked, hey, do they hire new grads? They do hire new grads. They Good do. News. Actually, I've a ton. Too, yeah. I've seen so many new grads. And um, honestly, if I had known about the OR, I don't, I'm it. not sure that I would have gone to the, <laughs> gone to the floor. But <laughs> in my program, we didn't even go to the operating room. I knew really? nothing about it. I knew nothing about it. Um, the only thing part thing I knew about the OR, my dad took me in, my dad was a, an OBGYN and he took me in to watch a C-section when I was 16 years old. And I'm pretty sure that was like a form of birth control. Um, because <laughs> after that, I was like, no, <laughs> I'm done. That is the only thing I knew about the OR. So um, it was actually a friend of mine that said, that I worked with on the floor that was like, Hey, you know, you should come check out the OR. It's pretty sweet down here. And, um, I went in and just shadowed for one day and I was like, that's it. I'm coming down that's here. It. That's awesome. <laughs> so, rest I is history. It. Yeah. Getting, so. I know I worked in the OR before I started nursing school. I was, um, uh, oh. surgery tech. I wasn't an assistant, so I wasn't scrubbing. I was cleaning the OR oh. Oh. after and like prepping Praise for you. Surgery praise you i i mean like job. i yeah. you, yes. no it was a lot but i loved it because i learned so much about the oh. or but one thing i do know is nurses and practitioners and physicians you stand on your feet a lot yes yeah shoes are so important some and people are asking about back yeah. pain like is that shoes yeah. help yeah yeah honestly i um uh when I first started, who uses the, um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking? The regular nurse shoes, you know, I'm dance talking about Dan dance goes, dance goes, yes, those things are going to break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to break my ankles in those. Like I could not, I could not, I'm so clumsy. And, um, so I found some shoes, um, that work, like they have like the inserts, um, like the memory foam that work really well for me. Okay. And after that, I didn't have any of that plantar fasciitis or, you know, like my feet weren't pulsating <laughs> by the end of the day. Um, yeah. so it's, it is really important to find a shoe that fits, that works for you. Um, yeah. the one thing that I love, love, love about the OR is that there are so many people down there. You have so many people, a part so of your team, yeah. so much help, so many, uh, so much equipment to help move, you know, you don't even so, have to do your hair in the morning. No, because you're going to wear the hat, the hat. Yeah, that's hat. like a huge plus. That's yeah. probably like the largest benefit of being an OR. Nurse. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you, basically. You fancy ones? Um, I do. I have, um, <laughs> I have, I have ones for different seasons and then I have, um, like my pediatric ones when I do, um, you know, pediatric, when I'm at a pediatric facility and then I have my adult ones. And then I always wear my Green Bay Packers, holla, go pack. Um, I like where, <laughs> yeah, I know wherever I go. And, um, you know, I get a little bit, a little bit of backlash for that, but, um, you know, once a Packers fan, always a Packers fan. Any Packers fans it. out there? Listen, uh, <laughs> they'll comment for sure. I know you pull them up. I, I have no idea what you're talking about because I don't got time to watch sports. <laughs> uh, I just know the Seahawks because I'm in Seattle. And that's oh, what I want to yeah, yeah. lead you to. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys? Where do you guys live? Whoever's watching. And then you, Leah, where are yes. you at right now? You just arrived. I literally, I just arrived in San Carlos, California. So if anybody has any recommendations for like food or things to do, please, please, please let me know. I literally just got here yesterday uh, and I start my, I think it's uh, contract number 24 um, That's crazy tomorrow. To me. That's crazy to <laughs> tomorrow. Me. Yeah. Contracts and you've 24. only been in nurse for 10 years. 
Yeah. Yeah. Traveling for six, six and a half years. But I honestly like it's it's crazy to me because I I just started travel nursing because I wanted to find a new place to live, but I didn't know where to go. So I was like, well, I'll just do a few contracts until I find a place that I really, really like. And then and then I'll stay there. <laughs> and now it's Look like six years later and I just can't stop. I'm just, <laughs> I keep going. There's that just so much so to great. see. There's so much to see. There's so, so much, much to do. Oh. It's so flexible, you know, like as a staff nurse, w- what do you guys get? Like uh, three weeks off a year, three yeah, weeks. Not or... a lot. Yeah, that's it. I yeah. take, I take two to four it's weeks not. off. I take two to four weeks off so jealous. every every three months. So I really only work nine months out of the year, technically. That's um, so awesome. And yeah, because girl needs a vacation. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just, I you know, there's just, um, you know, I'm, well, I, I was young and young, single and just ready to go. So, um, oh, no. You disappeared. Oh, there you go. Um, so yeah, it's just, it was, it's great. It's, I, um, I do go and I travel, um, I take my international trips. I don't work internationally. I actually, I tried that. Um, I tried to get my Australia nursing license and it was rejected, uh, for a technicality, which was really silly. But, um, anyway, so, I decided, you know, there's so much of the world that I haven't seen also. So I decided to go ahead and um, after every contract, I'll uh, take that time off and I'll get like a one way ticket to a country and then I'll just start country hopping. Um, And yeah, and now I'm you've you've gone to seven continents yes i just got back from antarctica yeah, it was we're going to get there amazing we're going to get it was there so we're going to get there i'm showing them <laughs> pictures and you have a picture oh. upside down in an airplane oh my gosh <laughs> that wasn't even planned like that was a spur of the moment thing um i went to iceland uh 3 weeks before i went to antarctica so like like a little right. bit over a month ago um and my aunt works in the aviation business. She happened to have some friends that lived in uh, Reykjavik and who fly, uh, they fly these um, like 1980s Russian yak planes, which I didn't even, oh, I didn't wow. even know what those were, but she's like, Oh, they'll take you, they'll take you out for a ride. So I met up with them and they're like, you know, in their Icelandic um, accents, which I'm not even going to try because I'll botch it. But um, <laughs> they're like, well, you have to wear a parachute just in case. <laughs> oh, like, wait, that's crazy. Oh, I remember seeing this on get... Instagram. I actually have that Instagram up that people can follow you and all your travels. Oh, awesome, all awesome. You yeah. go on skydiving. You take your dog, Dakota. Skydiving. Yeah, Dakota, she so comes cute. with me. Uh, well, she comes with me on my travel assignments. Um, so but when I'm gone, she I always find like a, a dog sitter or you know someone that works from home something like that and to to watch her people are commenting mm-hmm. the funniest things they're so jealous right now <laughs> you're living the life they've always wanted i mean There's everyone can have this life that's the thing people say um to me. they're like oh i wish I, I wish i could do what you do you can you totally you can, can. You, you can do it there are travel nurses that have kids that are married yeah. uh their husbands go with them or they'll just go for three months um and leave their husbands at home you know or leave their wives right. at home they'll I just know. go they'll go the, yeah. there's travel nurses that um live out of rvs um that will just fly to their destination and work or things like that i mean it's it's probably one of the most flexible um careers you can have i really. love it it's so fun yeah. and i actually i have your picture up of you <laughs> kayaking Antarctica. so you just hit yeah that. yeah i just got back on um oh my gosh what is today i got back on thursday night um okay. from antarctica so and cool. then <laughs> i literally i i flew back in i got back at 11 p.m 
And then I woke up in the morning and my car was already packed and I just hopped in my car, picked up my dog and just started driving to California for my, for this assignment. And now you work tomorrow. And now I work tomorrow. (laughs) So anyone who wants to follow Leah, follow her on Instagram at off the clock nurse, but I do want to get into travel nursing with you. Yes. Um, Yes. You can't become a travel nurse right out of school. You need experience. No, you do. You need, um, so I believe um, for, uh, for nursing, um, anything that's not a specialized nursing, I mean, like a OR, ICU, LND, ER. um, I think ER. You need um, two years. You, yeah, for that, you need two years. For, um, I think, regular for like what, telemetry or step down, you just need one year yeah, um, of, yeah. of experience um, before you can start traveling. And that's yeah, because when you get to an assignment, you get no training no, you get like none. one day of hospital orientation about the yeah. rules and culture and then you are on your own it's done so like yeah, uh like in the or um if you are new and you have experience you still get three months of orientation for yeah, me <laughs> for me as a traveler I maybe get a day. I think one facility I went to, I got a week and that Whoa, was amazing. So still that not amazing. enough though. I, <laughs> but, uh, but most places, um, some places I've shown up, they're like, here's your badge. Um, here's pre-op. Here's the OR. Here's PACU. Here's your PIXIS access. Okay, go. <laughs> and then you just figure it out from there. And um, usually the first week or two, you're like running around like, Oh, my God, what did I do? Uh, I'm freaking out here. Um, you know, but uh, it, that's more internally. Um, okay. You know, we always do as travel nurses, we like to say fake it till you make it. So, you know, surgeon as like, Hey, can you get me this? It's like, Oh, no problem. And you leave the room and then you like oh, to the next room, like, Hey, where is this? And you get it. You come back. You're like, I found it. I it. <laughs> you know, I got That's it so easy. Um, but then, you know, deep down your side, you're like, Oh God. Okay. Um, That's and then so after, funny. yeah, by the end of the 13 weeks, you know, you're like, I've got this down. Now let me go by to a different time. facility. Yeah. Oh let me go God. to a different facility and do this all over again but it's that it's really <laughs> i mean it definitely keeps uh keeps it interesting and keeps it exciting and um i personally i love travel nursing because i have met some of the most interesting people um you uh, know yeah, certain, like uh, like, me. like like me. like you Thank i cannot <laughs> okay the two times Guys, the two times I run into Blake at the hospital, like while working, uh, one I was in line um, getting breakfast, and I wasn't, I was not expecting anyone to like come up to me. I had eggs, bacon, hash browns, pancakes. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna secretly eat this quietly. No one's gonna know my my fat girl inside. Um, you know, like I love breakfast. I love breakfast. And then the other time, I was literally the the elevator doors opened and it was like you know like there was like a little glow around nurse blake here like oh god. my god <laughs> what are You're you doing ridiculous. here <laughs> i'm gonna miss you <laughs> oh i miss you I too oh we're, my gosh we have, um we're getting questions people are like yes. so curious about this travel ask, nursing ask, thing. Ask. how long are travel assignments usually Sure. So the average travel assignment most often is 13 weeks. Um, but really you can make your own schedule. Um, some I've done some that are eight weeks long. It it depends on what the facility wants from you. Um, you can go longer if you like it and they like you and you want to stay longer. I was just in Seattle for a year. Um, so my year was up. That's the longest you can stay in one place is is a year. Um, and then you lose the tax free stipend that you get, um, which is like a whole nother, uh, topic, subject. subject. (laughs) Um, but yeah, typically eight to 13 weeks. Um, and really like these facilities, they need people, they want you. So I have never had a problem, um, calling and saying, Hey, listen, I have 
um, I have a vacation scheduled in the middle of this contract. Uh, so I'm going to need a week off, uh, but I'll add a week to the end of my contract oh. and they're totally fine with that. So sometimes it can go, I'll be in one place for a little bit longer, but really I'll be gone for that week or two uh, in the middle of the contract. Okay. Um, yeah. So 13 weeks, usually your longest of the year. Um, mm -hmm. How do you find jobs as a travel nurse? This comes from Aaron. Sure, Aaron. Um, so uh, as a travel nurse, you have a company and there's like hundreds of so companies. So many companies. So, so many. many. My first uh, three years, I company jumped because I just did not click uh, with the recruiters or the company, things like that. And so um, I finally landed on one and I've been with them, but I know other people that have, they uh, are signed up with multiple companies. And if one company doesn't have a job at a hospital that you want, then you look at the other company. Hey, what do you have? Um, things like that. So um, yeah, there's uh, you, you find a travel company, you have your recruiter, your recruiter is like, your best one of the friend. Most, yeah, they're like one of the most uh, consistent people in your lives, which is why <laughs> you really need to find you really need to find one oh, that you God. click with that you're, you know, um, I mean, my, so I've been with my recruiter for like three years, three and a half years now. That's and awesome. yeah, he listens to me when I just need to, wah, 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 you know, like just run my yeah. mouth. I, like I'll be on the phone with him for an hour. He won't get a word in. Um, and I'll just, but, but he'll listen, you know? And, um, so you want to find someone that's going to answer your phone calls, answer your emails. That's not going to cheat you out. You know, yeah. I always know that I'm going to get, um, either the highest or, or close to the highest pay. Um, because, we you know, we money. all do talk. That we money. want that you money. Bills to pay. <laughs> I got trips to plan. Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so you really want someone that you can trust and that you, you really click with. Um, and, and you know, that it doesn't always happen the first time, the first yeah. go around. So mm -hmm. um, even if you're signed up with a, con uh, with a company, you don't click with that recruiter, you can switch recruiters. You can just say, Hey, listen, I don't think that we're really on the same page here. You know, I don't think that, you know, I'm, I just, I feel like I really need to, to go with somebody else and they're yeah. sure no problem, you know, but, and that's what I would try to do with, um, some of the other companies, but then I didn't click with the other, <laughs> with the other recruiter that I switched yeah. to. So, you know, then you switch companies. Yeah. Um, but there's yeah. hundreds, there's hundreds you of say, them out there. You call so. them up. So if you want to switch a company, you mm -hmm. just call them right up and you say, you know what? Thank you. Next. Yeah. Next. <laughs> uh, we're getting another question. How does housing work? Sure. Uh, so it's a little bit different for me because I travel with my dog. Um, he's like oh, passed out on the bed over there. <laughs> my sleeping. So sleeping. I hear her oh. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit more challenging for me. Um, I like to use um, Airbnb. Um, there's also on Facebook, there's a travel nurse housing page oh, where awesome. you can, yeah. And people will post like, Hey, I stayed at this place and it's legit because the, the one thing that is like my nightmare is I'm so afraid I'm going to get scammed. Right. Cause you, you're, it's yeah, not like you're yes. in the place. It's not yeah. like you're in the area where you can just go and check it out. Um, so uh, yeah, so you try to find a place, um, cross your fingers that it's a legitimate place. I never send money before I go. Um, you know, if they're like really animate about it, then I'm like, I'm sorry, I have to move on to the next place. But yeah, you look at, you look at places like that. You look at, um, uh, uh, so the Facebook travel, uh, housing page, furnished finders, um, is also a good one. I am really weary about Craigslist. But I do know people who do use that. So Craigslist. Uh, it's Craigslist. Yeah. Yeah. It's Craigslist. Um Craigslist. so they, you know, sell more than just uh how you know, apartments yeah. on there. So um <clears throat> uh so 
Yeah, I mean that's how that's how we find our housing. And how we want to talk about money? How do you get paid? Money. Are you get paid biweekly? Yes. Uh, um, my yeah, company, sure. my company just actually switched um, my last contract to weekly. Before it was biweekly, but it didn't really. That doesn't really matter to me. That's not one of my my main reasons why I was with them. Um, you know, I'm going to get it eventually, but they just switched to weekly and, um, which is still really nice. Yeah. I like, it. and it just goes right into my, uh, right into my checkings there. <laughs> you, um, so talk about nursing license because it's different nursing in license. every state, yeah. but then you also yeah. have compact states. Yeah. So I actually, um, I went to nursing school in Virginia. So I have, and I took the NCLEX there. I have the, uh, compact Virginia compact state nursing license. So I think there's like 23, 24 states that are a part of that. So I don't have to apply for another license in any of those states. Um, the certain states that I have like Massachusetts, Washington is another one of them. Um, I've had to, in Minnesota, I've had to apply for those nursing licenses, sorry, those nursing licenses, but uh, my company actually pays for it. So it's really nice because um, I will, uh, if I want to go somewhere, I'll either do it myself and they'll reimburse me or, um, or they'll do it themselves and just have me sign a bunch of paperwork um, electronically and it gets done. California was a little bit different everyone knows it's hard in California. yeah like it's like i so love your hard. your eyes just got really big when i think of, <laughs> I like oh that. gosh yeah it's so stressful um so and i i've actually personally gotten messages on my instagram uh, of people being like how'd you get your your california license and i actually got it in uh in seven weeks which okay. is That's which good. is really quick yeah. because and I had put it off this long because I didn't want to do it myself. Um, but my company just started this um, valet program. And I know some, there's more, not just my company, other companies will do this too. There's actually somebody that lives um, in the area of the board of nursing for oh. California. Yeah. And so, and they work for my company and so they collect all of my paperwork. They pay nice. for everything. They pay for the licensing, all of that stuff. They, they overnight me the paperwork I need to sign. I go and get my fingerprints done. They sent me fingerprint cards and I literally just mail it all back to them. And then they harass the board of nursing every single day until they get it done. <laughs> <laughs> until okay, they get it, it done yeah whatever it takes so um so yeah i i've heard people say like oh, it took me like seven months to get mine or you know however long but yeah it i mean it it was pretty quick for me um uh, i if seven weeks is quick um so still a long time but quick it's for still it's still a long time um, what's your advice to someone who wants to become a travel or has thought about travel nursing but they're like nervous about it Oh, let me tell you, I was so nervous when I first started. I mean, I was, I, I'm a completely different person because before I was so shy. I was so nervous. All I kept saying was like, what if I'm not good enough? What if, what if I can't handle it? What if the people don't like, I still say six times, I start work tomorrow and I'm like, I was talking to my friend. I was like, what if they don't like me? Um, you know, I've never been to a <laughs> I've never been to a place where I, I've had that problem, you know? Um, yeah. I think, you know, they, they want you there. They want your help. They, you know, they don't, they don't want to have to stay longer. And so they're, um, you know, because they're short staff, they're, everyone's there to help you, you know, yeah. there's going to be, you know, those one or two people along the way that are going to be like, not very nice, you know, but that's, in any job, you know, but honestly, if you're nervous about it, the only way to know if you can do it is to just try it. Do it. You know? Try 13 do weeks. Do it. You don't it's like 13 it. weeks. Yeah, 13 weeks. It's 13 weeks. No. What do you have to lose? If you don't like it, just go back to your other job. You know, They'll like take it, you back. That's how it I, is. they will take you back they because take you back. they They'll also like, yes. really want you. Yes, <laughs> they also exactly. really want you. So, uh, you know, I, I, I was so nervous when I first started because even the first place I went to, I didn't know anybody. 
I didn't know anyone. And I was like, I'm going to be so depressed and lonely. And, you know, I, I couldn't go before I left. I wouldn't go see a movie by myself. I wouldn't go. You and know, you're traveling by to continents and, by yourself. And now I'm got, down to continents by myself. You get, you get, you get very comfortable. Um, you know, you learn to branch out. Um, I think the biggest, um, you know, one of the biggest, uh, the best advice I can give if you're starting out and you're nervous, make friends, you know, make friends with the people that you work with. If somebody asks you to come hang out, um, and you're like, I'm so tired. This was like a 12 hour shift and it was the worst. Please go take, go have a drink. You need one. one. Yeah. (laughs) Um, like go out, go out. Even if you're tired, make friends because then you'll start that then they'll become your friends and then you're working with your friends and yeah. you know, it's like, it, it, it makes it a lot more fun. So just do it. That's well, keep traveling. I can't yeah. wait to keep following you. Obviously. Yeah, thank you. Those of you, this is nurse <laughs> Leah travel or nurse. You could follow her on her Instagram and with Dakota at Dakota. Off the clock nurse go show her instagram some love and follow her your pictures make me so jealous oh. and you, can, you can also follow me on instagram at nurse blake if you guys don't know nurse becky has taken over my instagram right now she took my phone at work so go check out what nurse becky's doing on my instagram at nurse blake oh my um, gosh but nurse, nurse becky Leah, I'm no, thank you for having me. I'm going to call you and we're going to talk. Okay. Okay. Right. Let me know oh, if me you sure. guys have questions. Yes. If you have any <laughs> yes. questions, Instagram her. Anything. Um, it's <laughs> off the clock nurse. Um, so show her some love. Ask her questions <laughs> on Instagram. And if you have any friends who are interested in travel or, or nursing, make sure you click the share button so they can watch this video later. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. <laughs>